Hey, 4 by E fans, I'm out here in the garage, which if you've seen one of my previous videos, you know I have an empty bay right now because my Jeep is in the shop getting new doors, new tailgate, and a new hood because of the issue associated with the uh, aluminum corrosion thing that's going on with Jeep Wrangler, or uh, JL Series Wranglers all over the country, all over the world probably. And uh, that has to do with uh, something to do, I don't understand the issue completely, but it's something to do with uh, poor prep before paint that causes that issue from, from what I understand. Now, if I'm wrong, correct me down in the comments below, but there's definitely something going on where, um, and, and some people have said it's because of a, uh, a mismatch of metals. And I think that was the case with the JK series of Wranglers, but the JLs seems to be associated with a prep issue. Whatever the case, uh, my Jeep has been in the shop for two weeks uh, getting all that done. Now, nothing, I'm not saying anything bad about the body shop because I think they are doing everything in their power to make this right. And a couple little quick conversations I had with the body shop manager tells me they are actually doing what they have to do to make sure this is right. And I really appreciate that. And that's Dayton Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram in Trotwood, Ohio, that's doing that work. And I just want to give a shout out to them because... They are doing things right, and uh, they are having. They had some issue getting parts in. Uh, that's no, no fault of theirs, and um, I, I just really appreciate the work they're doing. But I wanted to make this video to share a little bit of a personal story because, I, and I don't like to. I don't like to do personal stuff to like tug at anybody's hearts or anything. But sometimes I think it's important to share personal stories so that people from Jeep and Stellantis get it and understand why reliability is important, why making a quality product vehicle is important. I have had a number of situations just since 2021 where my Jeep was in the shop when I wanted it to be doing something else besides being at the shop. I've had a couple trips that I wanted to take that I wanted to take my Jeep and we ended up taking the CRV instead. So didn't get to do my little side trip and go do some off-roading. Um, I've had, I don't know how many times I am in the situation that I'm in right now this morning where my only trailer hitch is on my Jeep Wrangler and my Jeep Wrangler is sitting in the shop and I need my trailer hitch. And this is going to sound silly, but you don't realize how important a trailer hitch is until you don't have the one that you have readily ready access to. So uh, if you don't know, I'm, I'm, I work full time. My day job's at AT&T in the mobility network. And uh, I work in the uh, place where we network all the cell sites together. And my passion, my, the thing that drives me in life is I'm a bivocational pastor. So I don't get paid to do it. I don't, I don't take any money to be a pastor. And I have a, a partnership with a friend of mine in Trotwood, Ohio. We're working on a building to make it into like a community slash ministry center uh, for the community. And so that's been my like passion project over the past couple of years because I have a background in electrical and plumbing and, and all sorts of stuff. So I've been able to help from those perspectives of doing those things to help keep the costs down. Because, I mean, basically, I, I would say it's a, a non-for-profit, but it's actually a, a, a loss right now. <laughs> We're putting money into it and not getting any money back. But that's just what we want to do. That's, that's what our passion is. And so right now today, uh, it's a Saturday. I woke up and I'm like, man, I'd like to go down. There's a gutter I need to fix. There's uh, some siding that's coming off. Um, and there's uh, an electric line I would like to run, all of which I need ladders to do. I have the ladders, I have the trailer to put the ladders in, I don't have the trailer hitch to get those ladders to that site, and I have no other vehicle that I own that I could transport that kind of stuff in. Uh, I also have my own deck that's in my, my backyard back here. I've got a couple boards I need to replace, and those boards come in 16 foot lengths, and I need to be able to haul them. I do not have another vehicle other than my Jeep Wrangler to be able to t haul that wood and do the repair to my deck. So, and, and this has happened repeatedly in uh, while I've owned my Jeep Wrangler. Now, I wanted a Jeep. That's that's what I wanted. I wanted a Jeep Wrangler. I didn't want a pickup truck. I didn't want, you know, I wanted a, the, the versatility and all the things that you can do with a Jeep. But it has to be here for me to be able to do that. And it can't be here if I'm constantly having dependability issues because of the parts or because of whatever. 
you know, Jeep has designed a great Jeep. You know, we, I don't think at this point, this is October 5th of 2024, I don't think we can point to any design issues or any implementation issues at Jeep for the problems that the Jeep Wrangler 4xE is having. I think it has everything to do with parts supply, maybe a lack of research. I don't, I don't know, but I think Jeep overall has made a good product, but they're not keeping their quality standards high enough. And that leaves us in situations like what I'm having right now, where I would like to be going and doing these things with my life, but the vehicle that I've bought to be able to do some of those things with is sitting at the shop instead of sitting here in the garage being ready to go into battle with me. So I just wanted to share that uh, in hopes that sometimes sharing these personal stories gets somebody's attention at Jeep and Stellantis and get somebody to realize the importance of having the kind of quality that say Honda has that, that you can count on this car. We have never had a situation with this vehicle where it wasn't available to us when we needed it. Uh, it, it has just operated since 2019 with no issues. And I think an American car company should be able to have this kind of quality in their products. And I don't, I don't think that's asking too much. And so, yeah, I am just getting a little frustrated. Um, you know, I just woke up with all these ideas of like, I got a Saturday that I don't have anything planned and I can get some of these things done, but I can't because my Jeep isn't available to me. So Jeep, Stellantis, I, I don't know, maybe spin Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram off and give it back to Americans. I, I don't know what the answer is, but it's obviously something is wrong that we need to address. Thanks for watching.